Hello scrappers, today I'm planning to work on these pins and check how much gold is in them. These pins are really good quality ones from old ports. I'll show you the ports and um, actually this is from 4. What I will use, I will use my gold stripping agent today. And for these pins I'll check if uh, I'll be able to strip the gold with at about 5 grams of gold stripping agent. So let's open it and check. This is 2.5. Five grams. Great. Okay. So we are ready. After we have our gold sipping agent, our pins, what else do we need? We need distilled water and we have to dissolve these five grams of gold stripping agent into a hundred milliliters of water. So let's Dissolve it quickly. Let's check the volume. A little bit more. Okay, 100 milliliters of water. As you can see, muddy solution. I will go to my laboratory now. Okay guys, so that's my setup. My heater is on 50 degrees. Adjust it. And I'll put the solution on top to heat up a little. I also put my magnetic steer and start it. Here we go. Let's start her slowly and let's see. Okay guys, almost ready. So that's our solution. Let me go closer. It's a yellow reddish color, maybe a little bit brownish even. And that's how it's supposed to look like. On the bottom, you see small particles of iron. And that's all. Now I will remove the magnetic steerer from inside and put the pins. So I'm back. This is our magnetic steer it's stuck to the everything metal and i just keep it here in this uh, watch glass so solution is ready now i can add my pins and let's wait and see how long it will take these pins to be processed by the solution and all this gold to be stripped I'll start the ventilation, so it will be a little bit noisy, I'll show you later what is the result. Let's start now, it's 5 minutes past 10 o'clock, let's check how long it will take gold to be removed from the pins. Hey guys, let me stop the ventilation because otherwise you will not be able to hear me and let's check it's exactly five minutes after I put the pins in the solution what's going on there so almost gone you see and one of the issues with this solution is that the color of the solution uh, is brownish yellowish and you can't see uh, if there is any gold on the pins left when when the pins are in the solution so that's why you have to move the pins outside of the solution and check them periodically, as I do now. Okay, let's wait a little bit more. I'll check in another five minutes. As I'm waiting for the solution to work on the gold plating and um, remove the gold, I can also check the acidity. So this is I'll put drops on this indicator and let's see together what is the pH. So if you look at this scale, pH is at about 13, 14. So it's strong alkaline solution. 
And the reason to have a strong alkaline solution is because the gold stripping agent is containing um, cyanide uh, uh, complex, let's say it in this way. Uh, but pH 13, 14, that's important. Okay guys, so it's exactly 20 minutes later and let me just move this solution to another beaker because I think we are ready. Yes, we are. So look at this. Looks black, no gold. Nothing left. Great. Great job done. Took 15 minutes. This means that the gold plating was quite thick. So we have to maybe use a lot of zinc now to precipitate it. Let's go to the next step. Precipitation with zinc. I rinsed well these pins. No gold left on them. And my gold is in the solution. That's why uh, I, I have a little bit more than 100 milliliters because I rinsed well the pins to remove any remaining uh, gold dissolved on them. And now I will start adding zinc powder slowly and I will start rotation also. I will start stirring. So let me put my stirrer inside because we need this reaction to go quickly. Let's start and slowly add zinc powder inside. Okay. You see how the color changes? Let's see. I, I'm adding it about 5 grams of zinc because it's a little bit more than the gold that is inside but I prefer to have a little bit more zinc to, and, and then I can dissolve the zinc with uh, for example nitric acid then to leave gold in the solution and lose some money so I'm slowly adding and my magnetic steerer is doing the job and you see how the color changed from brownish yellowish to greenish some muddy stuff we have it's because of the particles let me speed up a little bit the steering we are now we have particles inside zinc particles and gold particles and temperature is 50 degrees, which, which also helps the reaction because one of the ways to speed up the reaction is the temperature increase and the other one is steering. So we have optimal conditions now to have our gold precipitated. Let's leave it for a while. I, I really want good reaction and all gold that I just stripped from the pins to react and to go from the solution to molecule of gold or co colloidal gold actually that's what will be formed at the end colloidal particles of gold okay guys i'll switch off the ventilation and let me show you what we have that's our solution you can see the zinc on the bottom here it is this is our solution and you see this brownish color and how it settles to the bottom. So this is our gold. Now it's in colloidal state and it will take some time this gold to go down to the bottom. Then we will uh, rinse it three, four times with distilled water. But let's wait first, go to drop to the bottom, to the zinc. So, let's start slowly filtering. I want to keep what is on the bottom. So, let's put a little bit of liquid 
in this filter and let's start filtering and you see it's getting a little bit muddy so let's wait to settle then we add a little bit more what's the idea because the next step is to add nitric acid we have to be sure that this is well rinsed you see it's a lot of zinc but there is also gold on the bottom so we have to slowly filter this rinse it two three times with water four is best and then under this hood in a ventilated environment area we should add nitric acid and it should be controlled and ventilated because of two things number one when we add that nit nitric acid to this we'll dissolve the zinc all this excess of zinc when we dissolve the excess of zinc there will be nitric dioxide brownish gas and that's something you don't want to smell trust me and the second reason cyanide if there is still some cyanide it, it should be controlled ventilated box or hood or area just to cyanide not to go to you to go to the chimney go into a concentration that is not harmful and that's all okay guys so my oxygen bottle was almost done and i was supposed to change it at certain point i have had quite nice or um, not so nice experiences but uh, let me show you the result 0 0.03 0 0.05 0 0.07 